my uh, time in Nashville. We uh, did five games in five days, and Nashville was one of the stops. Mm. And this was right when they were talking about moving the team. And I was fully on board with, yeah, this environment is terrible. Everyone is sitting on their hands. This is quiet as, as all get out. Like, move the team through the first period until they scored. And then when they scored, that crowd lit up. Nice. And it was a party atmosphere from then on out. Nice. And I had to eat my words on the rest of that. It was intense, but it took a goal for it to happen. I think a couple of playoff appearances and getting the right players in there has helped in recent years, but um, this thing, hmm. this was a thing from a bygone era that is well forgotten in lieu of this maybe golden for the era. Maybe, yeah, for the maybe for the better. Uh, let's talk about it next on Ugly Thirds. Welcome back, sports fans, to another episode of Ugly Thirds. Today's topic will be the Nashville Predators checkerboard rating rarities. John Trump, take it away. It's like Mary Melodies, but rating rarities. <laughs> Why a checkerboard? Well, okay, so Jersey Cam might actually struggle with this. Can you get in I on this? Struck- oh, there it is. I see. You it can. Now. It is. It, I, 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 let's get the flashlight too. How close can we get with Jersey? So there is a very subtle black and navy checkerboard you there. You can't see it. And it's also here along the bottom hemline stripe. Um, but it is faint. It's almost like the Columbus. It's Jersey. worse than the Columbus. Well, yeah. it, 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 yes and no, because like you didn't even know that it, that was a checkerboard on there. Nope. Um, like you could totally get away with this. Yeah, just white stripes. Like, whatever. Uh, but let's let's set up the premise of the show. Okay. So we collect a lot of very rare jerseys. That's kind of our shtick, if nothing else. We like the rare ones that have a story, uh, something to talk about, uh, something that attracts the other other ideas. People, okay, let's talk about jerseys. Um, and so we want to talk about the one, the the single rare jerseys that didn't fit into our top three, bottom threes, uh, or piqued interest in the comments. And so we wanted those some way to make it interesting, and therefore we devised a rating system. We're going to rate these on a fifty point scale, both of our totals uh, even together. Five categories of appearance, uh, noticeability, the number kit, the rarity of it, and the value of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so out of 50, the higher the number, the more special this jersey is. Two-year run. Yeah, Phil, when they wear this? Phil? This is 2009-2011. Two-year run. Um, I think what did this in is that they were, and I, if I recall correctly they weren't as good of a team as they became oh, five or six years later goodness no so one you're not getting the player recognition i mm. think i think for me this is this is if i recall correctly this is david legwand is your guy mm-hmm. in that team and at that point he's on the tail end of his career he retires in 14 or 15 i believe with buffalo one-off year type deal um but he was still their captain. But outside of that, who's who's pushing this jersey at the at the? Actually, might be a perfect excuse, Phil. If you could try and get one of the number kits in uh, for, to be able to pull up while we talk about this. Yeah, the EPS uh, order coming in. May well maybe not because so in order to, I had to get one, and these things as a two year run a third jersey and not popular. These are stupid expensive and stupid hard to find. I overpaid at 177 for this, and there's damage to it. So, I, I mean, you look at the outline of it. It need, definitely needs a stitch. It's your re, just like your Reebok Thrasher's one. It yeah. is spraying around, and I just don't have this color, uh, which I'm going to make Phil do double duty and see if he can jersey cam this this crest while we're at it. Um, we'll dig into a Reebok a little bit while we're Yeah, we're, as we do well. He's not paying attention. I am, but you want a number kit. And well, I, I mean, the, the jersey cam is more, more pressing. <laughs> we don't pay you nothing so, for nothing right so you can see the fraying happening there uh certainly some it needs a stitch around it which i'm not opposed to i do that enough um well i, I don't need it now phil anyone we're talking about the number kit but i figured i'd give you time to do it uh this patch wing reebok style is printed phil can you get another one it's supposed to say Nashville Predators around it, 
and the black letters have completely just washed off. The rest looks it look it looks fine. If you didn't know there was writing there, would you have any problem with that 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 no, patch? No, it's a typical shoulder patch. Right. Yeah. Um but it I mean that's damage. And you get a, a little bit of schmutz here, which it was not well advertised, but I didn't want to make a stink about it. So I figured, well, I'd probably get it out, and I might actually have a better shot at it. I, oh, oh, picture in picture, <laughs> Phil. Oh, fancy schmancy. But there, there's just enough that I'm like, do I want to invest another 85 in this? I'm That's probably going to hunt for another one and sell this one, likely. That's fair. But i got to find another one before I sell this one. It's a, it's a lot. That's a lot for me. I don't like spending this much. Um, and to add to, I, I don't want to throw good money after bad. Yep, that's fair. So this is going to sit in my collection until I can find a better one, I yep, think. That's fair. So, two years, checkerboard. The checkerboard is supposed to be the Nashville's racing history. You get that, right? I guess. Uh, uh, and they did, they did make a white version. It looked like this was going to be the future of the team. Phil, if you want a real project, find that white version. Um, he's not. He's not going to find that white version. It's that that for me is the basis Jesus of this Christ. show. Like that is going to be one of the hardest jerseys to ever come across. They, well, I mean, it was a rumor for a long time, and then they sold off a team set of Reebok Authentics at a charity auction. Yep. And all it was, it was just these two checkerboard stripes. So it's just one checkerboard stripe, second checkerboard stripe, and the crest, yep. and then the, the patch. And that and was then, it. I think it, this is a. Oh, no, maybe but that's... it has it has the players' names on them because, because they was, were modeling them at the event. They were testing it. it. It was tested to be worn on the ice, and they decided to go in a different direction. And this was that different direction. Which what a better choice, I think. Correct. So, um, I think... what do you got, Phil? What do you got? I'm trying to see one. If I oh, here's one side by side. Here we go. Um. Yeah. Oh, yeah, someone actually got it and put it. Yes. Oh, it's the subreddit. Yeah, that's not surprising. Um, but that's it. That's that's the ones they sold. Like which I, I haven't seen one without a player on it. So either that was one of the spares in the set, or they got it custom made. Oh. Can you can you can you pinch zoom them? in and see if you can get the. Go up a little bit. Oh, I wish it would turn over. Uh, yeah, there it is. You can see the lettering there. Yeah, you can see the Reebok uh, logo on the back. Oh, yeah. No, no. It, it's real. It's you can see weird. the lettering in the patch. Like That's the thing that's been... And the checkerboard is also apparent in the patch. That's yeah. still there. This is, is, so this is a different crest. This has a uh, edge to it. This has like a, a, a... You could see that it's beveled a little bit. Yours is not. Maybe that's something they played with. Or maybe it's just simply quality of authentics versus not. I don't know. It also took a whole lot of color out of this. Like, this is a lot less colorful than the crest used to be. Which, if you're still going to stay on that, I can pull that out. Or actually, it's on your chest, but okay. So, you can come back, Phil. Notice what it was usually. Like, they were going much more muted. This is your dark and gritty reboot. This is your Batman Begins of Nashville. Oh, very well said. Uh, very well said. That... And, and again, two years, not well received. Uh, a lot of people saying it looked like the Maple Leafs, which, other than the checkerboard, you're not wrong. And can you see the checkerboard? Yeah, there's there's some elements here that just... It's a massive swing and a mess. Yeah. It's a classy-looking jersey on its face. Yeah. But all the things they wanted to do with it just did not work. But, appearance-wise? I mean, I like it. I don't love it. I don't know that I want some more of it, but I I like the color behind it. Uh, I I I like this blue a lot. For me, for me, it it hits really well. Plus, if you're in Nashville, you're wearing this jersey, you're you're going to stand out in a sea of either white or gold. You are wearing blue. And so that noticeability, uh, you know, are you going to be noticed in a crowd? Are you going to, are people going to look at you and be like, oh, that's, that's a good jersey. Are you going to get nice jersey from yeah. people? I think we're right in that six range. I'm, I'm going to go a little bit higher. I'm going to go up to an eight on this one just because 
they've been this way, they've hit their popularity in this look, people would see this and be like, what on earth is this thing? I figure it's navy, which is still a color, right? So it's not like you're that far off. And how many people actually remember this? Yeah. You know, with the band, this is pre-bandwagon. So are you are you going to get a lot of like, oh, what a great looking jersey? Or, um, or or you you get those grizzled fans that have been there since inception. You would fit in those grizzled fans. Yeah, for sure, people, for sure. People would people would notice. People uh, would number notice. kit, fill it. Yeah, I mean, do you have it? I think it's just a plain white. I don't even know if it's a, just a, it's a, the national font. You had it, and then I had it, and I think it got always open new tabs. I did open a new tab. Kids uh, at school. Operate with like twenty four tabs open a day. That drives I, me up. I, my entire life is just how many tabs are open in my head at any given point. I think there's thirty two tabs open on my phone right now. Oh my god. Uh, I think it's a standard block white font, and so I am giving this number kit a three. Yeah. It's nothing special. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm... Better if you have it. Doesn't matter if you don't. It's gonna be the exact same thing. Um, rarity. How hard is this sucker to find? I am putting this at an eight because good luck finding it. All right, pause there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I feel justified. Yeah, it's it's fine. It's fine. Good luck finding this thing. I too will join you at an eight. I've seen them on the subreddit pop up from time to time. People on that subreddit are very well versed in Jersey values, mm -hmm. so they know what they have, um, and they usually do get sold, but. I, I imagine it it takes a minute. It, you put it on eBay, it's not going to get the attention of people who know its true value quite like it does if you put it on on a on the jersey subreddit. I don't I there were a lot of bids I had to beat to be, to win this one. Yeah. This was not a purchase, just a straight up purchase. So I honestly I put this at an 8. I think you're going to pay about 300 if you want one of these in good condition. Yeah. Um I'll join you at an eight as well, but what's crazy to me is that this thing, um, with with all of its flaws, like I had to fight what, people to win this. Sucker. Was was the crest like this when you got it? Oh yeah, it hasn't it hasn't gotten my washed it exactly once. There, uh, the print came off in that one washing, and this got worse. But again, I can put a stitch around this easy. These snags are not me. So that goes to show you that people, w knowing full well that this jersey has been washed, damaged, and does not have the original appeal, the original features that it was that it was purchased with originally, that goes to show you like three hundred or more. Yeah, like that could be that could you could easily justify over three hundred bucks for this thing. So uh, on our scale out of 50, 50 being the highest perfect rare jersey, Phil, where are we? Twenty four. Really? We're under that St. Pat's. We're under that St. Pat's jersey. Yeah. That, I mean, I guess it is a newer jersey, uh, and there's nothing special with the number kit. Um, it's the it's the supply and demand of them is both. The supply is very low. The demand is high enough to make it hurt. Right. So, that's, again, otherwise, a rather forgotten jersey. Let's be honest about that. For the most part, yeah. I, I think I think that's the good word for it, is forgotten. I wouldn't say, in, in the context of the time, it was probably well distributed for purchase, and people were buying jerseys, and we were new into Reebok at that point. So, and if you know jerseys, you know this one. And if you don't, you don't. Right. So, uh, first and foremost, let us know if you like this idea of an episode. We're going to try and do it again. You know, it's a slate. We're trying it out. Definitely going to see improvements in the future, I hope. Uh, looking at more rare jerseys. Uh, did you Do you have one of these? Did you have one of these? What did you think of these when they were when they were new? Did yeah. you know it at a checkerboard? Let us know in the comments. He's Shrems. I'm John. Phil, take us out. I almost hit the wrong button there. Uh, hold on. <laughs> uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. <laughs> Uh, hit the bell, get notifications when we post new videos, and tune in for another episode of Ugly Thirds. Martin Elad is another one. Mm. He was like everywhere, though. Yeah. Thomas Vokun? Vokun, yeah. Thomas yeah, Vokun. yeah. End of his career, for sure.